All right, so I'm going to try to make this videotape sound a little bit more decent than the rest of them. I'm not very good at narrating or, I guess, explaining how to make these things, but I'm going to try my hardest. Um, everything on this table I made at home. It was pretty easy. Um, I used Great Stuff Insulation Foam. It's amazing stuff. You can get it at Lowe's or Home Depot. Pretty much, I guess, any hardware store would or should have it. Um, it's spray insulation. It's foam. It's in a can. It's called Great Stuff. What I did with the heads were, um, well, this burn victim guy on my previous video, I told you I made a blob of it. I let it sit for, you know, I spray it, I guess, in the afternoon, and I let it sit to the next day just so it hardens all the way. Then I take an X-Acto knife and I cut out areas that I want, um, and I shoved some Dollar Tree eyeballs in. I bought a six-pack for a dollar. Um, on this guy's teeth, I actually took wood glue and blobbed it onto a piece of computer paper, just regular printer paper. I blobbed a couple of piece, uh, a couple of drops of glue on in different areas, waited for that to dry overnight, and then cut it out with an X-Acto knife and then shoved it inside the soft styrofoam head um, after I was done carving it, and I put a little gray paint on them. Um, I used old hair extensions I had. You could probably also get, like, fake hair from the dollar store and just cut little pieces of it and shove it in with, like, a little pin, a needle, or a butter knife would even work. Um, even a flathead screwdriver. This guy here, um, what I did, I used one eyeball, and I formed his the shape of his face in this kind of a mask from the dollar store, which I ended up on... Um, filling with the great foam on a couple of the heads and then when I take the mask off it gives me somewhat of a guideline where to carve out. Uh, this guy didn't make it too good so I ended up keeping half the mask on which it still worked out and I gave him half of his head hollowed out. Um, this one was formed in a mask. I took it out, I carved the whole thing out and I added paper towel um, to give it more of an older look. Um, this one I used skewers, just some wood skewers for its teeth, and I cut them. You can use toothpicks, too, I can imagine. Um, the skewers are a little bit thicker, um, and you just shoved them up. We just shoved them up into the head and uh, added some cheesecloth and easy, like, that black and gray cloth from the dollar store that they sell. Um, this guy is the burn victim. I got the Billy Bob teeth from the dollar store once again, and after I sprayed this guy out, and I carved them all out. I put some twine in his arm as veins coming out. I painted it blue and red and some purple. The teeth are the Billy Bob teeth, but what I did was they were green and funny looking. So I just painted the gum line black and I painted the teeth um, gray and uh, painted one of the eyeballs completely red um, and shoved it in so it kind of has that, I don't know, melted or about to burst look. Uh, he had painted with a spray paint brown and again, this one didn't cut. I had a hard time getting this one out of the the um, plastic, so I just touched up the face a little bit, added in eyeball, put a little bit of hair in it. And this one here um, kind of looks a little like a pig, but um, put some flies around him. It's more like a zombie. Wrapped his head with some cheesecloth. This one also didn't come out of the form that good either, so um, put some Billy Bob teeth in and uh, made it more like a zombie. And uh, the bucket of guts... Uh, is the same thing. It's the spray insulation. We took an old spackle bucket. I guess you could paint it black. Maybe next time I'll paint it black. And what you do is uh, fill it up with a garbage bag filled with old newspapers and stuff. Um, and then use one to two cans topping uh, with the great stuff and you know let it drip off the, the can, the bucket, and then go into it. Um, I guess you could spray paint it. Um, I hand painted it with red paint, two different kinds of red paint. I added a little black into it to give it um, depth. And then I drew, which I don't think you could see, but I drew some vein work into it as well. So it's the bucket of guts. And that's it, everybody. Enjoy your Halloween.